The early 60s were a very anxious time. We were in a competition with the Soviet Union, both in terms of military and a space competition for symbolic leadership of the world. John Glenn symbolized this race with the Soviet Union. At the time Glenn flew, he was only the fifth human to fly in space. The U.S. had only about 30 minutes of spaceflight experience. There were two suborbital flights before him by Alan Shepard and Gus Grissom, and that was the sum total of time for Americans in space. The launch was very dramatic. The world holds its breath. The hopes and prayers of free men everywhere center on the 40-year-old American inside the spacecraft. Three, two, one, zero. We always thought that the rocket might blow up, but the whole thing was very successful. He went into orbit, he accomplished the three orbits. For the third time, astronaut Glenn sees the sun rise out of the trackless Pacific. Then it is time to fire the retro rockets that will slow the spacecraft and bring it back to Earth. He came down alive, and that was a milestone that made Glenn into a national hero. Kennedy came to Cape Canaveral to see him and the spacecraft. He was faded with ticker tape parades and taken around the country. We really latched onto him as our chief hero for Mercury. In many ways, Glenn eclipsed Alan Shepard, who was actually the first American in space. John Glenn was such a perfect all-American hero, and he really inspired a lot of people to think that we were catching up in the space race.